So if any of you have a question, please raise your hand. Hello? There you go. That's the right one. We got 40 seconds. So can I remind the class what you're supposed to do with your do now when you're done with it? Let's try it on here. One more time louder. One more time louder. Thank you so much. Give you a payment for reasons for that. Three, two, one. Now it has to be in the middle, like we've done so many times. Also, I'm going to have to do this to the ropes. I don't know what's going on with these double bottles, but if you walk into my classroom with two bottles, one of them is going to permanently, and not the blue one, it's going to stay in my classroom the whole day. Because there's no reason for you to be carrying around two bottles and dropping it and taking up more space on your desk. So bring the blue bottle, not both bottles, otherwise it's going to stay in the back of my classroom the entire day. Capiche? Okay. Now, on to actual math. So make sure your notebook is open and you have less than 66 ratio problems involving totals. We've done ratios. We've done problems. We're putting those together, and we have to use the totals to find the answer. And the I can statement for today is I can solve ratio problems involving totals. Let's say that together. I can, can solve, solve ratio problems involving totals. This lesson can get confusing. I did the exit ticket this morning myself, and I got confused. And I'm 75 years old. So I have to, so please make sure you're listening so you can get a good grade in your exit ticket, good grade in your assignments. And this will just help you if you ever want to run a business or you have anything where you're a group leader and you need to figure out how many people you have. How many items you have this lesson is very important because it'll help you make your life really easy when you have to figure out those totals also I'm pretty sure there is one example today so that means that you could have a lot of time working on your exit ticket and even time to start your homework so please make sure you're listening and ready to go I am probably gonna have us do one more example afterwards just to make sure because sometimes one is just not enough. Yes, Cherish? 
I can't hear you. Sarah, thank you for helping. Who can read the problem for today? Go ahead, nice and loud, to Cal from the back. Right. So first thing I like to do is I like when I read a word problem, I like to identify all the numbers. Uh, so we gotta have to have football players to soccer players is five to seven, and we know the total is forty-eight. And we're looking for how many football players. So that's the, all the information from our word problem we really need to focus on. Now, when you're working with ratios and table or totals, first thing you're going to have to do is draw a box. And I better see this on your exit ticket. First, you draw a box. Matt, what do you put in the box? That's a good question. First, you're gonna make one line all the way down. And then you gotta figure out, you have football and soccer, and then you need one for the total. So you're gonna put two lines across for a total of three spaces. I like to do it by how they ask it. So first they say, Football players, so the top part will be F for football. Soccer players, well, that's going to be the second square. And then you always need, since it says total, you always need the total. All right. Uh, with a strong style of hand, how many, what's, how many football players to soccer players? What's that number? Josiah? Five. Five. So... You put a five in the first block. How many soccer players to football players, Braylon? Seven. Seven. How many in total do we have all together? Zaria? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, here's the question, though. This is what got me this morning when I did it myself. Where does that total go? Does it go... Right here or over here? Natalie? Yeah, box. Not the first box. It'll go right over here. And over here, you just put a T in there to represent. Oh, sorry. No, don't put a T in there. Ugh. Don't put a T in there. What goes in that total is actually just 5 plus 7. So when you see the first square, it's not the total as in what they give you in the word problem. That goes over here because that's how many total there is. But how many are they using for a ratio? That's what the total we're looking for. So whenever you do this, you have to make this box. You got to make the three rows. And Natalie, what's five plus seven? Four? Twelve. Let's see. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Correct. And then over here, you can just put F and S for right now because you don't know what those are yet. Now, how do you find how many how many were football players in that total? So they took 13 players and they said, out of 13 players, five of them are football players, seven of them are soccer players, but how do we just find the total amount of football players? Anyone get, oh, you got some ideas already? Awesome. Taylor? Sort of. It's going to involve multiplication. But this is how you set it up, and this is something else I'm going to have to see. Because this is how I check your work, and it's got to be definitely your notes, because I remember, I'm grading your notes. How it's going to go, it's going to put designating for football, so F over the total equals... F, because we're looking for football again, over the total that is 48. 
So now, class, who going to have the strongest on hand? Tell me, how many football players were did they use to look up? So it will be the first box. How many did they use? Lawrence? Five. So five goes up here. How many in total did they survey? Which means people that they asked. So out of the third. Or, London? Twelve. That equals, we don't know what F is yet, because we haven't found that yet, over 48. That's the formula we're going to use. We had to do that box system so that we can find that total. So we can set up this problem. Now we're going to do something called cross multiply and divide. So everyone, make an X with your arms. Cross. You're going to cross. Because the one up here is going to be, the numerator up here is going to be multiplied by the denominator and vice versa. So, oh yeah, I'm running out of room. So that means since we have 5 over 12 equals F over 48, if we were to rewrite that, it would be cross multiply. I don't want red, I want red, cross multiply, which means it would be 12. F equals, what's 5 times 48? 48. Cherish? What? Taylor? 240. 240. All right. So up here we multiply. Across. Wow, look at that handwriting. Now, make sure you're looking up here, because like I said, this gets confusing. Then we divide. And when you divide, you gotta divide by the 12, because we want to get F by itself. So now we have 12 divided by 12 classes. Wait, one. There you go. One. F. But we don't even need the one in front of it. So now we have F equals what's two, 240 divided by 12. Natalie? Three, two. Taylor? No, it's fine. Just want to make sure you think. So 20. What? Ball players. That's a very long process just to find that. Out of the 48 they surveyed, 20 of them we're actual football players. Not that fake European football that we call soccer. You guys didn't know that? Here, any questions on how I got to that? London? I don't you don't understand? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is a little confusing. So what it is we're doing, we're using information from the problem to form a table, which is right, right there. We include a row for total number of players, 
So total players that they surveyed out of that ratio has to go right there. How do we find the number to put into the total ratio box of the table? Well, you add the two ratios of the football and soccer players. So you guys got to make sure that you keep the ratio separate from the actual count. So when they say total something, that is the actual count. You So you don't know the total of the ratio. Let's, uh, do, do, do. Let's do one more. So everyone turn to page, turn the page. Less than 66. Page 468. Thank you, Brad. So page 468, and in your notes, this would be example two. Why am I not spelling correctly today? Example two. With a nice loud voice, you can read that problem for the class that I should see all your math books open too. Sarah? Which one are we doing? A. The bicycle store has mountain bikes and racing bikes on the showroom floor at, the, at a ratio of three to five. If there are a total of 72 bicycles on the showroom floor, how can you find a number of racing bikes? Use the metric to find the Alrighty then. So, first thing you do, you draw this big old box. Make sure you put ratio and actual count. With a strong style hand. What's the ratio in this problem? What is the ratio in this problem? Taylor? Three to five. Three to five. So you put that in the ratio box. Uh, with a strong sound hand, what is the three? What does the three represent? In the word problem. Yeah. Sydney? Mountain bikes. Mountain bikes? And what does the five represent? London? The racing cars. How many in total do they have that they gave you in the problem? Braylon? 72. 72. So in total, actual count, it's not part of the ratio. It didn't do anything. This is how many they actually have in front of them right now. They have 72. That does not go in the ratio side because that's not part of the ratio. That's a total count because we're working with the total down here. Ah, uh, what's the total for the ratio, though? So, uh, eight. Lemon, you have a question? No. Okay. So now we have all the information what we need. Who remembers what this means? Now we'll count it forever. Again, I, I believe they're making a second one of that. I'm kind of excited for it. Amaya? Multiply. Cross multiply. So think of Jesus on the cross, but while he's on the cross, they just gave him multiplication. That's real torture. I don't know if I was sacrilegious, but anyway. Oh, this is recorded. <laughs> should not make a joke. Um, so what are we looking for, though, in the problem? Are we looking for mountain bikes or racing cars? Taylor? What? Both? 
What's it, what it saying in the reading? In the problem, you gotta read, Nally. Okay, so we're looking for amount of x, and we use m over the total equals m over the actual to total, which is seventy-two. Okay, so what does this m represent from the ratio? Because this is the ratio. This is the AC, actual count. So for the ratio, we can fill the ratio in. What is, uh, how many mountain bikes is there, Braylon? And how many in total is there, Jaslyn, for the ratio? Which will equal M over 72. Okay, now we do what Maya said, we cross multiply, which means you go across. So you're going to take 8 times M, which is 8M. You don't know what M is yet. And then you cross 3 and 72. What's 3 times 72? 11? Let's see, we got 6. 216 and 21 London. Thank you for that quick math. So we got 8m216. Remember, this is called cross multiply and what? Divide. Braylon, thank you for the strong sound hand. Divide. Correct. So now we have to take whatever is next to m because we want m to be by itself. It's it wants to be a lonely child. It wants to be the only car in the lot. It wants to be the last chip in the bag. M wants to be by itself on its own side of the equal sign. So if you get an answer that has something next to M or whatever letter the problem has, you're doing it wrong. Because that letter wants to be by itself. So you just divide by 8 on both sides. What is 216 divided by 8? Let's see, 8 can go into 21, what, two times? Is that how you got it? Yes. Wait, 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 no, no. Braylon? 27. Sarah? 20, 27. 27. Let's see if he's correct. Was asking for racing bikes. Huh. But if we did this right, because it doesn't really matter in the long run. 72, 72. So they said the answer was 45. What's 45 plus 27? Hmm? Don't add, don't put this in your notes. What's 45 plus 27? Hmm. Lawrence? Uh, it is. 70, right? right, so we did this right. So you don't need that at all. So we just did it. We've looked for the wrong thing, but it doesn't matter because the same process applies to both. We just wrote down the wrong one. We looked for mountain bikes when we should have been looking for racing bikes, but we got the right answer. So any questions on that process? Because you're going to get three questions on your ex three or four exit ticket questions. All of them are about this, and you should be doing exactly this. So first, what's the first thing you do with the ratios? What do you make first? Sarah? Um, a table. Then you do what with the information? Sydney? Then you do what? what's the last thing you do when you get your answer from it? Nally? And you divide. Got it. If you're ready to go, notebooks to the side, pencil above your head. Show me that you are ready for your exit ticket. If you are online, make sure you do lesson 66 and lesson 66 exit ticket. Parish, that is how we're supposed to be keeping your material. Your material should be on your desk, not your lap. That's going to have to be a deduction for not being ready because that's not where it's supposed to go. Leia, 
Get ready, get set, go. You have eight minutes. So online people, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. Um, otherwise, 